and gentlemen, I want to give you a quick update from our shop today and talk to you guys about the number of Nissan Skyline GTRs, GTTs and many other Japanese sports cars available for sale here at Garage Defend in Japan. So, of course, let's start with this side of the cars that we have got up here. This one, by the way, everybody, this one is Porsche, as you guys can see. It's, uh, it's owned by Ito-san. He drives it regularly for his commuting of the days and a lot of you guys by the way been asking me over and over again what car I drive right it's actually right here so let me tell you a little bit about this one this one is midnight purple as you guys can see GTR R33 year 1995 one it drives beautifully and me and Spencer you were just driving it right it was a lot of fun Feels good. Feels good, I tell you what. <laughs> oh boy. I love that sound. There are basically cameras from, you know, time to time that pops up. And as long as you know the location of that cameras, you know what I'm saying? You can rock and roll. I know every speed camera from here to home. Yeah. Memorized. You see? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, hey guys, watch this. This GTR 33. Um, is a fabulous car, okay? I keep saying that over and over again. Cars, GTR 33s are over underestimated, right? Don't you think like that, Spencer, too? I always used to not like them until starting to live here, and now now I want one for myself. Hey, look, GTR 32s come, boom, everybody loves it. Starts winning all the tournaments, crazy, right? And then GTR 33s start manufacturing, right? Nissan starts manufacturing them, but by the time people catch the basically the the the, the what the joy of this car, what happens? The R34 came along. R34 pops up and screws everything up for cars like this. And I love GTR3 so much. It's crazy. Jump in the car. Drive a GTR, man! <laughs> <laughs> Puts a big smile on your face, you see? Do, do, do. <laughs> Feels so hyped. I'm sure a lot of people will be like, oh, you're so hyped today. What happened? <laughs> I'm driving a GTR. I, I love the man. energy. I love the energy, Dawson. Yeah. What's going on? Driving a GTR, man. You should try too. What's up, boys? How are you guys doing? Having a good time? We're about to have a good time on this U-turn. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Something has to do, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I think we'll boy. take it easy right now. Yeah, right, I better take it easy. <laughs> but hey, we passed, right? Can we go now? Uh, I don't okay. know if I'd go yet. Woo. This baby out there to some some circuit, you know. Especially you're coming with me, bro. Yeah, we got to. That's gonna but you gotta fun. wait for me to get mine That's first. Fun. You gotta sell your G. Anybody who's watching this movie, <laughs> if you guys in the market for GTR 32, buy this guy's car. You know. Hit me up. <laughs> She's for sale in the states, ready for you. Oh, yeah. Nice white GTR 32, and been taken care of by your car, bro. AKA Spencer here. And and what? Spencer, tell us a little bit about your car. She's got about 114,000 kilometers on the clock. And so much love from you, right? Been my baby for four years now. But this guy right now is into what? GTR 33s? Oh, yes. It is time to pick up the next. Next generation. The next generation. Woo! Chum! Okay. Okay. But again, I purchased this car and this is my drive and I love 
I mean, it's so much joy driving this particular car, and it's got the power FC and turbos and everything set up for the car. And I want to show you a little bit about all my my own cars. What engine compartment as well? Oh yeah, they got to see that cooling panel. Yeah, there you go. Of course, of Ooh. course. I mean, of course, our cars come with the cooling panel. This is a cooling panel that we manufacture at our shop. But again, the car, guys, is 995. It's not just the car that I love to drive and puts a big smile on my face every time I'm behind the wheels of this bad boy. But at the same time, it's a great investment as well because cars like that are going over, I mean, they're going over roof over time. And a lot of people want them. And this particular car is going to be USA import legal in about six months from now. So, yeah. I will probably end up selling it because it's part of a business as well. But, I mean, it's my personal car for now, which I'm having a lot of fun driving around. But now, let's go over there and let me tell you guys one by one of the number of cars that we got for sale. Right now, everybody, we have, as usual, six to seven GTR 33s at our shop. But again, all of them are sold out. So it's like crazy. One comes in, immediately sold out. Except for mine, of course, as well, right here, as you guys can see. But at the moment, it's not available. Now, let's start with this car right here. This one is January 1995 GTR R33. So practically, this is exactly six months from now. You will be able to see this particular car in the United States. It's got 86,000 kilometers, accident-free, pretty clean and awesome GTR R33. It is. So the moment it arrived, our great friend, Denny, um, who also purchased V-Spec to newer from us, we said, Blue, he ended up purchasing this particular GTR 33 and I will be having the car delivered to him to the United States at the end of this year. And by the time it reaches, it's going to be USA import legal. And he is going to be driving one of the first imported GTR R33s in the United States. So next car, this is of course is GTT. R34 Skyline, it's not a GTR, but it's a, it's the main difference of course is the exterior, so is the interior, but of course coming back to the point of the heart of the car, which is RB25, that engine it has got, which is one generation behind the RB26, all famous GTR32, 33, 34s Humvee. So next one guys, highly upgraded, highly modified Selby S15 Spec R we have got available for sale at the shop. And as you guys can see, the, I mean, it has got the aero parts, this, what's the name of the aero parts? Hmm? Anyways, aero parts are very much top, top notch aero parts that installed for S15 uh, spec R's, particularly in Japan. I can't recall the name of it, but uh, it's a quite famous in Japan. So, this particular car is year 999, and it's got 86,000 kilometers accident free, and basically, um, yeah, it comes with the GTRS turbines and stuff like that. Quite a number of upgrades on the car, but it's available for sale, guys, for 2,580,000 Japanese yen as a base price. And it's, yeah, it's not a total price, but it's a base price that we are retailing the car available for sale in Japan, which is equal to about how much, Spencer? 24, 24,000 US dollars, probably? 23, 24,000 US dollars, it is equal to. So, Again, hey guys, don't you love this car? Tell me. Give me some love for my car, huh? Yeah. I want to show you guys how, I mean, let me turn it on. I was driving it earlier. It was so much fun. And... Anyways. This is the joy of my life. At least for now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so next, guys, GTT again, R34 Skyline Turbo. This car is manufactured in year 2000. And it comes, again, as you guys can see, number of upgrades. And this is a 98, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, this is 98. Oh, 98. Sorry about that. You see, this guy knows. Catching on. You know? He's catching up. He knows a lot of stuff already. Better than I do right now. <laughs> wow, oh my goodness, look at that. It's been just a month. Huh? You know? I'm trying. Yeah, okay. Great. The turbo it is, of course, it comes with a GTR face, so it has the GTR extra upgrades on it. The price of a car, 2,580,000 Japanese yen, which is equal to what, Spencer? About the same, what, 23, about 24,000? About the same. Again, base price, base size blue R34, 
turbo. Uh, again, this one is year 2000 though this time, so I'm not wrong. <laughs> Spencer. <laughs> the mileage on the car, 113,000 kilometers. If you're someone watching this video from the US, it's maybe around 65,000 miles or so. I guess for the car. So again, this car also comes like a number of upgrades with the GTR face and stuff like that, but we're not going to get into too much details of it. But all I want to say is that both this car and that car, as well as this car, are pretty clean uh, R34. So this one, everybody, is not the turbo version R34, but of course, it looks like turbo though. You know, a lot of people actually, you know, misunderstand that, but it's not a turbo version R34. But it has got the R34 turbo engine, which is RB25 dead engine on it. So it's a turbo engine to come with. So it's nothing less than all the other cars that we have got available for sale. But for this particular car, everybody, we are asking about $20,000 right now. Uh, and the car is super rare in color. Yellow R34s are extremely rare to come by. And this is one of the cars that a lot of people is now after this I want to tell you guys a little bit about two Integra Type R's that we have those cars are made featured in Gran Turismo a lot of fans of Gran Turismo like I am and Spencer and most of you guys as well you remember this car with so much nostalgia I guess right now both of the cars guys are year 996 so they both are super clean condition of course here and there minor stuff but again very well maintained one of the cleanest and uh, relatively stock condition Integra Type R's that you can find available for sale in the market at the moment so again everybody 96 uh, it comes with aftermarket uh, muffler exhaust system and a uh, number of other things but anyways Quick information about the car, it's got 113,000 kilometers, that one has got 112,000 kilometers I think. And the price of the car is the base price, we are asking for it, 1,480,000 Japanese yen, which is equal to about 12,800 US dollars or so. Fair value guys, over the next year or two, those are, car, those are the cars that you want to invest in because they're going to be like so much more expensive I imagine it to be next year than it is this year because even right now there are not many of them available for sale and the ones available are not in a good condition a bit more crappy condition but again being at this shop I can tell you that those cars are really really top of the ones like available in the market for sale as being year 996 Integra Type R so from now on oh boys I want to show you something by the way here this is Midnight Purple 2, right? Arguably, this is the most famous, iconic color that comes GTR 33s. And of course, there's the LM as well. A lot of people love the base, like, blue color of LM. But I want to tell you guys a little bit further about this particular car. I hope it's not too dark, is it? No. Anyways, this car belongs to a great friend, fabulous guy, Johnny. He is from the United States. He actually uh, reached out to me in search of a clean GTR 33 for himself and I was able to source them this particular car personally and it came from another famous tuning shop in Japan in the southern part of the country but this car guys is also a January 1985 so Johnny will be receiving as one of the first guys to basically import his GTR 33s to the United States because it's going to be import legal in six months from now and you can expect the car to see on US roads just like any other roads. But again, this is a great car. It's got a number of modifications, upgrades on it. And I want to open up, the, uh, here's the key. I want to open up the car and show you guys a little bit of the car itself as well. Of course, it has got TA37 wheels as you guys can see here. Black looks pretty awesome on the car. But again, one of the first things that you notice as we open up a car, car it's getting a little bit dark. So sorry, everybody. It's got a nicely installed roll cage inside the car. It, of course, it can be taken off as well, but it's not like all over the car. It's like basically nicely installed as a protection for the driver of the car. This car, guys, has got the, how much? 400 horsepower in it. And as you guys can see, it's got blue bright seats as well on both sides. And it's got, it comes with the Momo steering wheel. But I wanna run the engine for you guys and show you what the, whoa. By the way, guys, as part of the maintenance process, I guess the guys are, uh, the, the disconnected the battery at the back. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna open up the back side of the car Again, we usually disconnect the battery from here 
for the car and you guys can see the battery is disconnected from here so I can easily put it back. I'm gonna run the engine. Guys, it feels so comfortable sitting in the car and again it's a little bit dark right now but this car is one of the cleanest GTR 33s that you can find in Japan at the moment. And it has got the Clifford security system. Whether you want to open up the door or the, 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 the trunk or the uh, bonnet of a car you have to use the key so for us to be able to open up the bonnet you have to click here and you have to click this part Was it correct? <laughs> uh, it's a great security guys but it's just that you get you get used to it you know there you go, hey, there we go. Magic. it's a cool feature it's a cool feature it's really awesome so, boys, listen up. Here's the engine compartment of the car. It looks a bit dark, so you guys cannot see it much, but it's got a little bit of upgrades. Guys, I tell you a little bit about Johnny as well. He actually has been looking for a very clean. We searched for about two months trying to find him the right clean GTR 33 that he deserves, but number of them he found, he had a lot of, you know, some of them were rusty, some of them, and particular one that he was super interested in, one that he bought in the Tokyo inspection, if you remember. He had a rust right here. So he didn't like that, but Johnny wanted to be clean as possible and he found this car as you guys can see there's nothing of the rust or anything like that on Sun Towers. It's a little bit modified but just like the Johnny himself wanted to have the car a little bit modified in any way. about this particular car as well and you'll be hearing about this particular car before we deliver it to the United States at the end of this year so let's turn off the car for now and let's go inside but I want to tell you guys a little bit about the other cars you have we have got available for sale and was already sold out inside the shop 180SX as you guys can see all famous pretty classic fabulous car we got a lot of inquiries these days for this particular car, right? And over the past week or so, we already sold we sold this one, of course, and we sold one for Justice, you, okay, U.S. military personnel from Okinawa, and we sold another one for who? Jackie. Jackie from Hong Kong. So we are having another one shipped to him, to Jackie. But hey, boys, take a look at this particular car. This is old famous Nissan Skyline GTR R34. V spec 2, Bayside Blue, everybody. This car, everybody, is purchased by our great friend. He's uh, Jason, he's a per personal friend, and he is working for Amazon, actually, in Tokyo. And this car has been his dream, and he recently made the purchase of this V-Spec, too. Fabulous car, fabulous investment as well, because those cars are becoming extremely rare to find these days. And he wants to drive a car for a number of years while he is in Japan, and eventually he wants to take it back to United States with himself once the car is USA importing of course. But uh, we are providing right now a number of services on the car. We gotta have the car road registered, put a plate on it, and you know, do some maintenance on it before we will have the car delivered to Jason, which is gonna be July 2019, which is next month. Again, boys, let's take a look at this side of a car that we have got available for sale. Not available, so out. This one, everybody. It, it comes with the 400R lips, as you guys can see. It looks pretty awesome. It's got. It comes with a Nismo bumper. Nismo, as you guys can see, the 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 ducks. ducks Nismo ducks, right? Uh, and Nismo lips right here. Number of other uh, the parts that the car has got as well. But the car has been sold out. It's deep marine blue, 995 as well. I was expecting the car to be sold to the USA customer, but it's sold to a local, a Japanese customer, which we will be having the car delivered to him pretty soon, actually. Another GTR 33. As I've been telling you guys, this car is super hot, right, Spencer? Very hot. Yeah, this car is 996 Midnight Purple GTR 33 as well. And boys, the car arrived before we were able to offer it for sale too much, and the car was sold out. 
again to a local a Japanese customer because again those cars are extremely famous among local people as well and they are just buying them up whatever comes up available for sale. Another one, this GTR 33 is also, what's up Eugene? <laughs> Punch, here, yeah. yay. Say hi to everybody Eugene. Hi, nice to meet you. Yay. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Alright, awesome. He's our GTR specialist here at the shop. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I'll let you know the secret, everybody. In Japan, if somebody praises you, you have to say, as part of the culture, no, 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 oh, you are like, if somebody says, oh, you're like, you're so smart, you have to reply them like, no, 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 you are a lot more smart than me. So, you know. You see yes, the yes, yes. Right there. Eugene. Hi. You are the best. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bosa. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. You see? <laughs> so this one, boys, is GTR 33. Of course, as well, it comes with the special upgrades on it. As you guys get the side skirts, as well as the, the the lips of the car has got special upgrades on itself. What do you, what, what, what parts do you call it, Spencer? Uh, just aero parts, the lip, the yeah, the I front mean, lip, the side it's skirts. Not, it's not a top secret though, but it looks like top secret, I guess. Anyways. It looks fabulous though on the car. This car is accident free as well. Just like all the other cars that we have by the way, everybody. We have only the cleanest cars available at this shop. Just so that you know, if someone, if you're someone who is new to this channel, we only sell the best. Okay? Right, Spencer? Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. Anyways, let me tell you a little about this car. E96, okay, it has got 122,000 kilometers, maybe around, maybe around 65,000 miles or so, that means on it, but apparently, we have somebody who is sending a deposit for the car already, right? Deposit inbound, and this one should be heading to Okinawa. Okinawa, US military personnel. What's his name, Smith, yeah? Nathan. Nathan, there you go, Nathan. This car is amazing, you're gonna love it. Gonna be headed to you, of course, after you make the full payment for it, brother. <laughs> You're not sending out the car before you make the payment for it. You know? <laughs> Anyways, just a joke, bro. Anyways, this one is a year 1991 GTR32. Pretty clean, awesome condition, 84,000 pounds. If you notice, these cars are expensive, guys, because we're asking for this particular car. 3,980,000 Japanese yen, or around 60, 36,000 US dollars plus. And the car has got, again, it's accident free, 30, 84,000 kilometers genuine, but very clean condition though, very clean. And we have priced it accordingly. So, let's take a further look. Again, I think I've been talking about those cars that you guys have been listening to that as well, but this particular LM is, oh, I think, only 80,000 kilometers, Spencer, how many miles? Yeah, I think, that's yeah. A, I think that's accurate. Very clean. Garage Defend LM we have got R33 right here. Year 96 and one of the 186 of them were manufactured as standard GTR model as well as GTR V-Spec model. But this one is standard model by the way, which is among 102. Eight. Something like that, somewhere around those numbers. But this car is crazy clean, everybody. It's like brand new, right? Basically brand new showroom condition. Another GTR we have everybody, 32,000 kilometers only, asking for 4,880,000 Japanese yen, equal to $45,000 or so. So again, those cars are very clean and their prices accordingly everybody, so. Okay, so let's talk further about other cars that we have got. And I'm not gonna talk too much, we're gonna wrap up this video because it's becoming too long. It's getting a little long. Yeah, I know. It's all right. <laughs> okay. Anyways, Super RZ, 8,900 kilometers only, super clean, genuine condition, museum condition, I would say, available for sale for about six six thousand dollars or so. We just have to it. 2000 GTR 34, Bayside Blue, 104,000 kilometers only, asking for six million four hundred eighty thousand Japanese in as base price, equal to about what fifty nine thousand dollars or about so. Almost 60 at the exchange rate today. Yeah, Spencer made a special video about this car. How long was your video, Spencer? Uh, 20 minute inspection video of the car. Yeah, let me get the camera. Spencer, now we are going to hear a little bit from Spencer about his video and about this car quickly. So can you make a yeah, short so we introduction about the car? Yeah, a lot of interest in the Active Red. Active Red's a rare color, only 122 ever produced, if I uh, read correctly. Uh, but we have a customer in Canada who might be interested in purchasing this one, so we did a full inspection video. You can check out that video over on my channel, Your Car Bro. And uh, we 
did everything. We looked at every little piece on it. Another legend that we have got, this car everybody has got 106,000 kilometers, sparkling silver. It's not a silver, it's a sparkling silver. Looks really, really awesome. Again, I cannot open it up for some obvious reasons right now, but the car is fabulous, guys. You're gonna make a special video about that. We so have to make a special video yeah, about this should, one, yeah. We should make one, I guess, you know? It's a V-Spec 2, by the way. It's a V-Spec 2, boys. V-Spec 2, everybody. This is a whole different world. Different level, you know, interior, everything is different about this car. Now, not everything, obviously, but the number of parts different. Anyways, you're asking for this car, 8,880,000 Japanese yen, which is equal to about, how much? 75,000, maybe? 75,000, so this guy is newer. Millennium Jade V Spec 2 newer. Just been sold out to special, special friend and a customer from Australia, which will be making a special video about this car as well. You guys get to see that when time comes. A lot of people are buying up newers, right, Spencer? Another hot item recently. Every, everybody's buying up GTRs, no matter what it is. Now, everybody, you guys know about those cars if you've been watching this, but I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna spend too much time because for every single car we have here, we can make a special video about them because they are such a special car. Tommy Kyra, Gold, uh, USA Import Legal, Max uh, GTR 34 V Spec. It's gonna be shipped to the US at the end of this year. Uh, we, M Spec Newer. We just shipped that one to Don Golobag. But this is another one that belongs to our shop. This is also USA Import Legal and Show and Display Regulations. But we are now offering it for sale at the moment. So has that car over there. Like the LM as well over there. Robles R34 GTR. Again, this is again everybody, midnight purple color. Looks pretty awesome car. I mean, I mean, look at the car, man. You got to love this car, you know. Those are some of the most collectible cars out there. This guy, everybody, is called Bayside Blue v -Spec to Nure, everybody. Only 17,000, super clean. Maybe the cleanest one available for sale in Japan. You know, who knows? 16, 16,800,000 Japanese yen we are asking for it. Which is a lot of money. It's a lot of money, but it's worth it. But the end for the piece of history, legend. Yen, defend, garage defend, demo car. But everybody, Look, we have this is the main yard, main shop that we do our business at, and we have got yards here and there as well, number of cars. But this video was a long ass video, anyways. Everyone, those are the cars available for sale here. If you are in the market for a JDM sports car, Skyline GTRs, or any other cars out there, you know who to contact. Please reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to have the car delivered to you at any part of the world. It doesn't have to be the car that is available for sale at our shop because we've been sourcing a lot of cars that are not available for, that's for sale at the shop, but available for any part of the Japan, you know, at the, at, the, at the different dealership or the auctions, anywhere. We will source you, we'll find you, we'll have that car delivered to your home in any part of the world. I'm not saying just to any port. We can deliver to your home as well. Of course, it's gonna cost a little bit extra, but basically, we can take care of all for you. So, again, a lot of people reach out to us saying, hey, this is my first time, and I don't understand anything, but guys, as you guys know from our previous videos, our past, we've been shipping out more than 10 cars a month right now to different parts of the world, and all those people who are buying those cars are first-time buyers. So, everything is safe and secure, so, Everybody, if you reach out, I mean, if you're interested in the car for sale or from Japan, reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to have one delivered for you guys. And everybody, if you're not subscribed to this channel, do subscribe to see a lot more content like this. I mean, it's gonna be a lot better than the next one, I guess. <laughs> so, so, and I look forward to see you guys in the more, in the next videos to come. So, thank you and have a great day, everybody. Cheers.